everybody. Welcome once again to another edition of Inside Lady Tigers Basketball with Pokey Chapman presented by Whitney Bank. I am Victor Howell and this week we'll look back at the last two games for the Lady Tigers. A home victory against the Lady Wildcats from Kentucky and then their road trip to Tuscaloosa to take on Alabama. We will also get up close and personal and introduce you to Allison Hightower. All that plus more when we're joined by head coach Pokey Chapman right after this. Inside Lady Tigers Basketball, presented by Whitney Bank, is brought to you each week by our Team LSU partners. Cox Communications, your friend in the digital age. Oshner, the official healthcare sponsor of the LSU Tigers. Super Chevy Dealers, the official vehicle of Lady Tigers Basketball. People's Health, the official health insurance sponsor of LSU Athletics. And by Verizon Wireless, the official wireless provider of the LSU Tigers. Inside Lady Tigers Basketball is a weekly presentation of the LSU Sports Television Network. This segment of Inside Lady Tigers Basketball, presented by Whitney Bank, is brought to you each week by Cox Communications, your friend in the digital age. Welcome back, as always, joined by head coach Pokey Chapman. And Pokey, one week ago, the Lady Tigers were coming off of a victory on the road at Starkville. You had three full days to get ready for the Lady Wildcats from Kentucky, who came to Baton Rouge on Thursday. Yeah, Victor, we had a great outing at Mississippi State. I thought we established ourselves early. Uh, I thought several people got to get in the mix of things offensively and defensively. And the charge was to come out against a Kentucky team that was coming off a loss against that very same Ole Miss team. So we came out early and uh, was able to execute on both ends of the floor. You know, one week ago you and I had talked about uh, the seemingly slow start your team had been getting in for a few days. This Kentucky game, though, not a slow start at all. In fact, in the first half, Kentucky had more turnovers in that half than they usually average per game. So your team was really able to change some things that we talked about one week ago. Exactly. It seems so often we're talking about the defensive intensity and prowess and how we uh, make teams play at an uncomfortable rhythm, but we never quite marry the offensive end of the floor uh, to our defensive prowess. So it was nice to establish things on both ends of the floor for once. And get the victory at home, which is always important in the SEC. Patrick Wright takes you through the highlights of LSU and Kentucky from the Maravich Assembly Center. Erica White on the right side, at the top, Thomas, free throw line jumper, bounces and it goes and it's two to nothing. The Tigers have the early lead. Bowman has her pass knocked away, it's off the hands of Mahoney, stolen by LeBlanc. She's ahead of the pack, she lays it up and in, it's four to nothing. Fouls lobs it up top, White drives left of the lane in the corner to Cheney, three is good, it rattles home from the corner. Fouls left wing Cheney, fake the long three, drives down the lane, dumps it to Fouls, layup is good. Nice move by Cheney on the dribble, then the penetration, and then the dish. On the baseline, Humphrey goes toward the hole, hits two dishes to the cutter, who misses the shot off the glass because Fouls got in the way, and it's off to Erica White. White, left side Cheney for an 18-footer that is good. The Tigers are lighting it up, and they're ahead 13-2. LeBlanc out at long range, top of the key to Fouls, deep left wing over to Cheney. Bounce pass, Hightower left corner. Hightower looking for fouls, down low double team, gets it to Thomas, free throw line jumper is good. That's perfect offense, fouls was double teamed. That meant Thomas was open. Out between the circles, White. White crossover down the lane, baseline pass, Thomas, 18 footer is good. Thomas feeling it tonight on the jumper. She's got six, that was some more good ball movement. Mahoney with 6.20 to go, lobs it to Elliott, left of the lane, 10 footer is good on the uh, roll out that time, Elliott, 3.18 and counting. Left wing Mahoney at the top to Elliott, fouls has her, Elliott shoots over her from 15 and got it. Going baseline, a runner is Mitchell from 10, no good, Mitchell got it back, out to LeBlanc, right wing, another three oh. is good for LeBlanc. <laughs> Humphrey hands it off to Ormeron, guarded by White, uh, right Elbow to Mahoney in the lane cut off. Looked like she took an extra step or two and then fired up a 10-footer and got it. Left elbow to Humphrey, turning, working on Thomas. Out to Elliott, right elbow, got fouls in the air, then took it to the left side and laid it up and in. They've got four quick ones. At the top, Cheney. Back left side, LeBlanc, who had 10 in the first half. Lobs it up for fouls, catches it, lays it up and in. That was a nice look, and fouls had position and put it home. Cheney back out to LeBlanc, fakes the three, drives in the lane, jump step, nice handoff, Fowles who lays it up and in. Second assist for LeBlanc in the half, she's got Fowles as nine, and it's 41-25. 
43-27, White down the lane, kicks it right wing, Cheney. Cheney dribbles in toward the lane, out behind her to LeBlanc. LeBlanc down the lane, handed it off, but it was too close of a handoff. Thomas couldn't get it. Mahoney does have it for Kentucky. Looked like she palmed the ball. Drives right baseline in the lane. Elliott, four-footer is good. Pokey may... I thought she was going to signal for the timeout, but she's going to let him go. 17-point lead. Not, not much in the scoring column here in the last minute and a half or so. Cheney from the uh, corner runs. A five-footer off the glass. Awkward shot. No good. Fouls rebounds. Puts it back in. Fouls 14 points and getting close to that 10th rebound. Mitchell at the top. Phillips. Right wing to LeBlanc. Dribbles to the elbow. Backs away. Out between the circles, Phillips, left wing Mitchell, back to Phillips, right wing LeBlanc, she'll take the three, and got it. Tay-Tay LeBlanc, her third tray, I think that's the first time she's ever done that, she's got 13 points in the game. At the top to Fowles, left wing Mitchell, fakes, dribbles to the free throw line, jump shot by Mitchell, bounces home, and the Tigers are running and hiding now, it's 59-32. to LSU shooting 45% for the game. Kentucky, 35%. They've got 19 turnovers of 10 for LSU. Ormerod to Elliott on the baseline. Spins on Williams, lays it up and in. Sylvia Fowles will come in also along with Antony. Left side, Mitchell. Wide open spots for three, and she drilled it from the left wing. They left her by herself. Eight minutes to go, 14 on the shot clock. Phillips dribbles around Humphrey, spins in the lane, turns. Five-footer is good, and Phillips finally got one to go. Portia Phillips on the board. Kalila <laughs> Mitchell into the front court. Left wing high tower open, but fakes the three, drives left side. A running one-hander on the baseline is good. Mitchell into the right corner on the baseline. Whitfield hands it off and going to the hole and laying it up and in is Williams. You milk the clock. You get somebody down the baseline in Whitfield who hands it to Williams, who has four, and it's 74-46. To Morris, free throw line jumper, side of the rim, no. Williams fights for it and tips it, and Morris has it in the corner. Out to Antony, base, uh, bounce pass underneath, wide open, Williams lays it in. A horn will sound, the ball game is over, and LSU 3-1 and one now in the league. The final score, LSU 76, and Kentucky 58. We'll be back. So three Lady Tigers finish in double digits, led by Sylvia Fowles with another double-double, and LSU gets the win, 76-58. After that ball game, it was time to hit the road once again, this time to Tuscaloosa. We'll be back to talk LSU-Alabama when we come back. LSU basketball is back in action, and you don't want to miss any of the excitement. Be sure to watch as Big Baby, Glenn Davis, and your other favorite LSU ballers try to battle their way back to the final four. Pokey Chapman and the Lady Tigers are also on the prowl and have their hopes set at another chance in the big dance. So tune in to catch all the best in purple and gold basketball right here on CST. When we got married, suddenly we had two of everything. They had a lot of stuff. Two dining sets, two dogs. Two car insurance companies. I'm State Farm agent Joan Raysom, and this is a true story. We had to get rid of a few things. Yeah, mainly my things. He had State Farm. She had a gecko. I helped them compare rates and coverage. It was no comparison. He was right, for once. This time, one of my things stayed. Like a good neighbor? State Farm is there. Every Chevy car and light duty truck comes with something Ford and Toyota don't. The GM 100,000 mile warranty. Learn more. Go to Yahoo and click autos. See your local Chevy dealer. Hi, I'm John Brady. Are you ready to jam? Don't miss John Brady's Slam Jam for Education, February 15th, featuring Sugarland and Little Big Town, live at the Pete Maravich Assembly Center. Visit BradySlamJam.com for ticket info. And don't miss John Brady's Slam Jam for Education with Sugarland and Little Big Town. Be there February 15th, live at the PMAC. Come pass a good time for a good cause. Louisiana is proud of its flagship university, LSU. 
The state's largest institution of higher learning embodies our future. LSU is on the move and pursuing greater national prominence. Everyone can be part of this spirit of LSU as it attracts the best students and faculty and builds for the future of Louisiana. Join LSU on its quest for greater national prominence. Help create a better LSU for all time. This segment of Inside Lady Tigers Basketball, presented by Whitney Bank, is brought to you each week by Oshner, the official health care sponsor of the LSU Tigers. Welcome back. So LSU gets that home win against Kentucky. Then, Pokey, it was time to go to Tuscaloosa to face an Alabama team that, you know, they've had their version of up and downs. But I guess once you look at the SEC play, it's why you always have to be ready. Not the, not the best of starts, maybe, that you wanted coming off the home win against Kentucky. You know, Victor, we, we talked about this prior to the Alabama game. Uh, it's something about our play in Tuscaloosa. That's one place we hadn't quite gotten comfortable playing in. And it's always in the back of your mind. But the bottom line, we come out initially. We're playing good defense. Uh, we created great shots offensively, but we did knock them down. And at some point, uh, that's going to come back and hurt us. We were fortunate enough to come away with the victory. 25-16 at the break. You talk to your team at halftime. I know you had a, a nice little run in the second half to finally get the separation that you needed in this ballgame. You know, I thought that separation came in transition, uh, but the challenge is transitions there early in the game because you're creating, uh, you know, off-balance shots for the opposition. You're rebounding the basketball, get out and run. And our focus needs to be for 40 minutes and have that killer instinct. When you have a team down, keep them down. Once again, a road game and a road victory always important in the SEC, and LSU able to get that in Tuscaloosa. Here are the highlights once again with Patrick Wright, the Lady Tigers, and the Crimson Tide from Tuscaloosa. White, right corner to Cheney. At the top, Thomas. Thomas dribbles once inside the arc, back behind her to LeBlanc. LeBlanc goes toward the right baseline, back out to Cheney on the wing, Cheney to the point, back right corner, LeBlanc, jump step in the lane, kicks it to White for an 18-footer left side that bounces and it goes in. Maston up top, Cheney will guard that, or her. Chandler just inside the free throw line, hands it off to Davis. Top fouls, left side to White, fakes her man, dribbles inside, bounces to Thomas, who then lobs it to Cheney in the left corner. She'll try a three. That one rattled and wouldn't go. Thomas puts it back. No, Thomas puts it back again, and it does go. Tigers are ice cold from the field. Davis at the top to Butler. In the lane, has it for a shot that's good. Back out to White at long range. Ten to shoot. Phillips lobs it up for Fowles. Fowles catches it and lays it in. Williams, left side, Butler, long, three, too strong. Rebound by Phillips, hands off to White, and here come the Tigers. White presses it through traffic, down the lane, to the hole, lays it up, and in, nobody picked her up. So that's what White, when White's doing that, LSU does pretty well. Free throw line, Williams, dribbles on Thomas. And then her shot from 10 is blocked by Thomas, tipped way out, Hightower's got it. It's one on two, we'll see what she can do. Crossover dribble, five footer in the lane is good. Maston winging left side. Tries to enter it down low. Has it to Strouthers. Back out to Moore, left wing. Fadeaway 10-footer is good. Fouls right side, Mitchell. Right baseline, Thomas. Skips it over the zone to LeBlanc. Down low to Fouls. Turns four-footer, banks off the glass and in. Coming back the other way. At the top, Chandler. A line drive three is good. Near the left corner, Hightower. She lobs it for Fowles, who catches it and lays it home. Left side, Maston tries to enter it, and there's Phillips stealing the ball again. She's going to dribble it into the front court, look for a guard. That's LeBlanc. Right baseline, Hightower goes toward the hole, lays it up and in. White to the right wing, up top, Phillips. 18-footer, good. So maybe that'll get uh, things going. But they still come out of it with the good defense and a nine-point lead. Maston looking. Left side, Moore, a three, and it's good. And Moore has five. At the top, Chandler, almost a walk, no call. Moore right wing, lobs underneath on the back door. Chandler lays it up and in. They have scored the first five. LeBlanc left corner to Thomas, 15 to shoot. Thomas dribbles toward the lane, kicks it out over on the right side to White. White drives bait, that's Cheney in the baseline. Actually, it is White, and she flips it up and in with the left hand. Back at the top, LeBlanc, LSU not able to penetrate their point zone defense. White in the lane, Cheney, a little 10-footer is good. Butler left side to Maston, bounce pass to Moore, right point, three ball is good. 29 to 26, LeBlanc, left corner, Cheney, a three is good from the left corner. Going to our right on the inbound, Davis right wing, 
Goes toward the free throw line. It's slapped out of there by White. Cheney's got it. She's one-on-one -on, -one on Davis. Lays it up, and it rattles in. Taken by Chandler. Davis to Moore. A pull-up three, and it's good. And they have caught her on fire out of the locker room. At the top, Thomas. A long three for Thomas is off the back iron. Fouls goes up high to get it and lays it home. Drury in the lane, Chandler turns, now at the free throw line, off to Moore, 18-footer, line drive is good. Moore's got 17, 15 of them in the second half. And it is 39-33. Phillips, a straightaway 18-footer is good. So Portia Phillips answers. Back out to White near the point. White penetrates, out to LeBlanc, fakes the three left wing, drives the lane, takes it to the hole, and the layup rolls in, and LSU leads it by double figures. Eight minutes to go in the game, and LSU leads it by 12. LeBlanc hits a cutting Thomas in the lane, can't lay it over the rim, but she got it back and put it off the glass and in. 47-33, LSU pulling away slowly now. Strother in the lane, 10-footer way off the mark. Morris rebounds, hands it off to LeBlanc, and the Tigers will run. LeBlanc to the right wing, pulls up, hits the trailer, Thomas at the top. Left corner to Hightower. Free throw line, Thomas, jumper is good. Thomas with four in a row, and LSU starting to pull away. It's 49-33. to 33. Looking to inbounds, uh, lobs it way up top. Hightower tipped it, and she stole it. Up ahead to LeBlanc, one-on-one -on -one with Moore, and LeBlanc lays it in. Williams at the top, right side to Maston. At the top, Moore now lobs it up and fouls. Intercepts that one easily. I don't, I don't know how she thinks she can lob that ball over. Fouls down the other way. Lay, uh, Cheney takes it and lays it up and in. She's got her double yep. figures again. Horn sounds. This game is over. And the final score, LSU's Lady Tigers 61. Alabama 45 will be back. After so the Lady Tigers return to Baton Rouge with that 61 to 45 victory over Alabama. When we come back, we'll introduce you to a freshman from Arlington, Texas. We've seen a lot more as the season has developed. We'll introduce you to Allison Hightower. That's next, so don't go away. a credit card and a check card that work together, both earning points that combine in one very big total. Introducing Whitney Points Plus Visa Credit and Check Cards. For more points and big rewards, it takes two to tango. Points Plus, only at Whitney Bank. Running video, MP3 sound, broadband speed, internet, and email. All working flawlessly together in one ultra-thin device. The new Blackjack. Only from Singular. Can I be confident that my health care provider will put my needs first? Can we trust that our health care provider will be here for us? Can I have health care with greater peace of mind? At Oxner, you can. Oxner is the unique coordinated healthcare system that's neighborhood based for better, more consistent care and greater peace of mind. To find out how you can have healthcare with greater peace of mind, call toll free 1 866 Oxner. 1 866 624 7637. This is a lineup that cannot be stopped. A perennial powerhouse that needs no timeouts. The team, SECsports.com. And it runs up the score every week with more real-time coverage and live streaming content than ever before. Put in the play and get the results on all your favorite teams, players, and coaches. And get exclusive real-time coverage of SEC championships. Everything you need to know, everything you want to hear, everything you have to see at SECsports.com. I was proud of what our league had been able to do. You could have a SEC team win a national championship in the NIT in the same year. The same year. You gotta live in the moment and go out there and play as a team. There's gonna be adversity and there's gonna be challenges. It's not about the past and it's not about the future. It's about right now. This segment of Inside.
Inside Lady Tigers Basketball, presented by Whitney Bank, is brought to you each week by your Super Chevy dealer, the official vehicle of Lady Tigers Basketball. Welcome back. And Pokey, this is an opportunity in the program. We get to meet some of the girls up close and personal. One of them, Allison Hightower from Arlington, Texas, another one of the freshmen that we start to see him contributing more and more as the season goes on on the high level of play in the SEC, and she's been a solid contributor for you. She has been, Victor. You know, Allison's one of those kids that she competes at the highest level, regardless of practice, game, shooting drill, defensive drills, free throws. Uh, that's what she brings to the table. And what we're seeing now is her natural instinct is starting to take over when the schedule has really gotten tougher, and that's a compliment to Allison's ability. And I know as you as a head coach and your coaching staff, that has to be nice to see with the level of play in the SEC starts to elevate. That's a lot of expectations to put on a freshman's shoulders. It is, but you know the biggest thing is put them in a situation where they can be successful, and Allison's probably contributed 90% of that, and the coaching staff just to 10% in terms of, you know, tutelage and uh, confidence, but if you would have asked Allison uh, two months ago how she was doing, she had no idea that she's right on path to be a, a significant contributor to this team. More and more seeing Allison Hightower on the court. We were able to catch up with her and visit with her earlier this week. Here's our conversation with freshman Allison Hightower. Hightower approaches the free throw line, dribbles down the lane, running to one-handed left-hand shot is good. It bounced off the back. I got a pretty good vibe from them. Um, when I came into my visit and also I, went, I came to camp, so I got a pretty good vibe on like what they do and how they, you know, run stuff and what kind of education and stuff like that in the academic center. Just all that put put together. Left wing high tower open, but fakes the three drives left side. A running one hander on the baseline is good. Mitchell. I knew college would be tough, but this is this is really tough. But it's a good experience too. Um, my parents wanted me to come, you know, get away and grow up. So. I think I've grown up a lot in just as little time since I've been here. So I think that's pretty good. See what she can do. Crossover dribble. Five-footer in the lane is good. Speed. The speed is just so quick. Getting up and down the court. Um, just everything from the style of play, the system that they run. You got to, you know, screens and reading it. and Just everything from that. and um, Playing hard all the time. Just everything. She's going to dribble it into the front court, look for a guard. That's LeBlanc, right baseline, high tower, goes toward the hole, lays it up and in. Oh, championship, uh, SEC championship, just keeping the legacy, what they've already established here, just keeping it going. And definitely a SEC championship and a, a national championship. Um, I live for a championship. Phillips at the top, right side, high tower, dribbles down the lane, running off balance, one-hander from 10 is good. They mean everything. Uh, they work very hard to make us better every day from film, and breaking things down. They break a lot of things down and it just helps you um, get through a lot of stuff from the screens and just reading cuts. I think I had a lot of trouble with that and I, I probably still do, but I'm, I'm getting better at it every day. White out to high tower, three ball to tie, it's good! I just to play my game and play hard. Um, I know they've been, uh, won me be a pretty good defensive player, so I really try to focus in on that every day. We'll be back, joined once again by Pokey Chapman to look ahead as to what's coming up for the Lady Tigers this week. That's next when we come back. I'll have a combo meal. Only a couple hours old. Oh my golly. What kind of drink do you want? Why a warmed over combo meal? Get a Subway Fresh Value Meal, now just $3.99. A different delicious sub every day, freshly made, just the way you want it. With chips and drink, just $3.99. Where freshness meets value. Subway, eat fresh. Stunning video, MP3 sound, broadband speed internet, and email. All working flawlessly together in one ultra-thin device. The new Blackjack. Only from Singular. Can I be confident that my health care provider will put my needs first? Can we trust that our health care provider will be here for us? Can I have health care with greater peace of mind? 
At Oxner, you can. Oxner is the unique coordinated healthcare system that's neighborhood based for better, more consistent care and greater peace of mind. To find out how you can have healthcare with greater peace of mind, call toll free 1 866 Oxner. 1 866 624 7637. Hi, I'm John Brady. Are you ready to jam? Don't miss John Brady's Slam Jam for Education, February 15th, featuring Sugarland and Little Big Town, live at the Pete Maravich Assembly Center. Visit BradySlamJam.com for ticket info. And don't miss John Brady's Slam Jam for Education with Sugarland and Little Big Town. Be there February 15th, live at the PMAC. Sometimes a good time for a good cause. 4,800 student athletes. 2,200 named to academic honor roll. 17 named first team academic All American. 12 universities. One mission. The Southeastern Conference, equipping tomorrow's leaders today. This segment of Inside Lady Tigers Basketball, presented by Whitney Bank, is brought to you each week by Whitney Bank. It takes a Whitney Banker. We're back, and before we say goodbye for this week's edition, of course, we'll look ahead at what's coming up this week. And the nice thing, Pokey, first of all, not a lot of traveling. You've got two home games coming up this week. We'll start out midweek with a game against Arkansas. It is, Victor. You know, you, you talk about uh, the confines of home, and it's really nice to be here. This place has been good to us, obviously. Uh, it's somewhere we've been successful. I think we're 40 games into the streak, I think. Uh, my sports information director talked about, so we'll look to keep the streak alive. After Arkansas, you stay here. You just went to Alabama to face the Crimson Tide. The Auburn Lady Tigers will come to Baton Rouge over the weekend. You know, Auburn's always a tough matchup. You look at the size that they can uh, co combat our size within the middle, the fact that they have some quick guards and some relatively new players that are stepping up big for them, so it'll be another tight matchup. Two SEC games at home. You have your opportunity to come out and see the Lady Tigers in action against Arkansas and against Auburn. And, of course, we'll look back on those games when we join you next week. As always, Pokey, thanks a lot. Best of luck to you this week, and thank you for joining us. We will see you next week for Head Coach Pokey Chapman. I'm Victor Howell. Thanks for joining us on Inside Lady Tigers Basketball with Pokey Chapman, presented by Whitney Bank. Inside Lady Tigers Basketball, presented by Whitney Bank, is brought to you each week by our Team LSU partners. Cox Communications, your friend in the digital age. Oshner, the official healthcare sponsor of the LSU Tigers. Super Chevy Dealers, the official vehicle of Lady Tigers basketball. People's Health, the official health insurance sponsor of LSU Athletics. And by Verizon Wireless, the official wireless provider of the LSU Tigers. Inside Lady Tigers basketball is a weekly presentation of the LSU Sports Television Network.